Hello Salesforce Ohana, Walters954 here. And in this video, we are gonna be doing some more craziness with flows. We have a child object that we want to populate with some information from a flow and some information from a parent object. So we have this movie questionnaire button, which triggers a flow. We fill out a bunch of different information and it creates our child record. Make sure to stick around to the end where we go over some tricks on how to solve redirecting issues and how to get more information out of your flows. Let's get started with just setting up everything about this project. So we have here a lead that we've added this child record to called questionnaire. And in this questionnaire, if we create one, it's gonna have a bunch of different questions for us. And if you haven't guessed already, by the our leads name this questionnaire is going to have a bunch of different movie questions in it so it's going to have maybe your favorite genre uh, the last time you've been to the theater your favorite director let's do qt hopefully you know who qt is and if you're a christian bale fan so you can see some other fields on here that are actually going to be set when we convert our lead that is going to happen in part two so make sure to stick around for that I'm going to hit save here and now we have our new questionnaire record created for this particular lead so um, maybe you're on the phone talking to this particular lead which is Christian Bale answering out these questions and you know you can add multiple questionnaires maybe you question them three or four times throughout their lifetime as a lead so you can go ahead and continue to ask them questions all the lead stuff is pretty standard. So let's actually jump into the flow to make this questionnaire a lot more presentable for our users. So I'll go into the setup. Let's go ahead into flows. Then let's create a new flow. Let's make this a screen flow because we're capturing information from our users. The first thing we want to do is drag a screen on. And from this screen here, we can label it questions, movie questions. And we'll leave the footers on all that good stuff. And then let's just start filling out the different questions that we have. So the first question we have is going to be a text value and we're going to say, uh, what is your fav favorite movie? Put a nice question mark on there. Make sure that's required. And we're not going to put a default value in. Uh, the next thing is that we want to select the last time you went to the movies. And these questions are very pointed at the you, you know, because you're potentially on the phone with the person saying, um, you know, you're, you're talking to them, you're having a conversation as you're filling this out. Um, let's go with another text field. Who's your favorite director? Cool there. Let's do a checkbox. Perfect. Are you a Christian Bale fan? The last one we on here is to select the genre. So the genre, your favorite genre is actually a pick list value. So we're going to select pick list. What's your favorite genre? And we could actually fill out all the choices here, horror, um, you know, whatever the other ones were, but that's no fun. We can use flows to actually grab the values automatically from our records. So we're going to go with a pick list choice set. We're going to call it movie genres, select the object that it comes from, which would be questionnaire. This is a pick list type and look, genre already filled in because it's the only pick list that's in there. We should probably require a lot of these fields, but I'm not going to require them just for the sake of time. Delete that additional choice there. 
And let's just test this out, see what we currently have going on. It doesn't really do anything, but I want to see what our flow is looking like before we move any further. This is the screen flow. It's our questionnaire. So let's go ahead and hit debug. Run this. So what is your favorite movie? Last time you went to the movie theaters. Oh, I think it was last Friday. And then we'll put QT. We are a Christian Bale fan. And now we can see that these values have loaded in from our genre. Um, if you're curious about how this works, definitely check out the video on the, that I'm going to link at the top where I go over all the different ways you can link pick list values and record choice sets in pick lists and other really interesting uh, record choice selections. So we're going to hit finish there and we can see that uh, everything went through so far. So that is good. And let's close this out and actually start to create our um, questionnaire records from this. So we're going to actually go to a create record. And what we want to do is create a questionnaire. So let's create questionnaire. And we're going to use all the values from what we filled out to create our uh, related questionnaire. So instead of using a value from a record that was already created, like a record variable or something like that, since we don't have an existing record variable for a questionnaire, let's just go ahead and use these separate resources to create it. So I'm going to select our questionnaire object. Would you look here? We have all the different fields on our questionnaire. Let's go ahead and sync them up to the form that we just created. So you can see that I'm typing in bail and are you a bail fan pops up. Um, we have our favorite director, so favorite director. We have genre. We have last time I went to the theater. And let's also make sure to add in our favorite movie. I want to continue to test this and make sure that it's actually working. So I saved everything up, went to debug. So I'm going to run, let's just do our favorite movie. And of course it's called test. Let's go ahead and save that. And we see down over here that we get an ID, but if we look through the actual debug panel, we can see that, Hey, uh, the favorite movie value is actually test. So let's just check out this record. We may be able to refresh here. Let's just paste in the ID real quick since we have it. Cool. We have the questionnaire uh, that got created and we can see that there is a genre that got defaulted and the test movie value that came through. So all of that seems to be working out pretty well. Now let's actually figure out a way to launch this and link it from our lead because that's who we're going to be calling originally. We don't want to just create questionnaires and then not have a way to link it to some sort of record. Um, so to do that, what we'll need to start out with here is to actually create a variable uh, to hold the lead ID. We're going to call this bar lead ID. This is going to be a text variable and we're going to allow for input. That is very important. This basically allows for us to set this variable outside of the flow. So I'm going to hit save here uh, just to make sure that that variable is saved and actually go into our record creation and set the lead field here to the var lead ID. Once again, hitting save and when we debug this, we will actually get a box at the front, which we did not have before of our lead ID. And we can pass in the lead ID itself, run this. And then here we can say dark night. Uh, last time we went to the movies. Uh, and we're not a Christian Bell fan. Let's change this to action. So hit save. We see that a bunch of other information is filled out here. But the most important thing is that this lead 
bar ID has now been set to the lead ID. If we refresh our lead over here, we should see a new questionnaire has gotten created for that particular lead in the dark night. So that, that all has worked out really well. So now uh, let's bring this all home by creating a button that will launch our flow, um, probably adding it over here so that whenever your users are actually talking or let's say a lead calls in, you can go onto their record and launch the screen flow very quickly, automatically putting in this ID, filling out the information from the questionnaire and everything will flow from a process standpoint. So let's go back into the object manager, head over to lead. And what we're going to do is create a button. Next up, let's label it uh, movie questions. And that label might be taken already. So let's just call this movie action button. We are going to make this a detail page button. This is going to display in a new window based on a URL. The URL is actually going to be the URL of our flow. So that's going to be slash flow slash don't remember everything. So let's actually go to it. Let's go here, your version details. And then, oh, we have the full URL here. So let's just grab that, hit save. So that was a quick save just to make sure everything was good there. Now let's add in the ability to grab the lead ID. So what we're going to do is pass that in as a parameter. So we're going to say question mark bar lead ID equals, and we can insert it in here. So we're on the lead object and then it's called record ID. It's called lead ID. There it is. So we have now inserted this, um, lead ID based on the parameters that get passed in. Let's do another quick save. And then let's go to the page layout of our lead that we are looking at. Go to a lightning mobile action. Or oh, sorry, it's going to be one of these. Oh, I named them the same, but if I'm hovering over, I can see which one it needs to go there. So we can see there in the name in the middle section there, it says movie questions button. Let's add that in at the end, actually at the beginning so we can see it. Quick save there. So now if we refresh on our page here, we can see that there's this new movie questions button. We click that, it brings us to our screen flow. Let's fill out our movies. Um, what is another Christian Bale movie? Memento, last time we went to the movies was someday over here. Who directed Christopher Nolan? Chris Nolan. Uh, let's pick a different genre. And we can see that, hey, this has saved. It didn't bring us back anywhere, but if we go back to the lead itself, head over to Christian Bale, we can see that another questionnaire record was automatically linked to this particular lead without having to automatically set anything. Let's see if we can take care of that issue where we saved our flow, it created our lead, but it didn't take us back to where we wanted. So what we're going to do is actually update this URL in here with another parameter value. So whenever we are adding parameters, we use the at symbol and we are going to set the return URL. So that's actually shortened to ret url equals and let's start out by setting it to the original lead id and see what happens with that so hopefully when we save our flow it will pass in this lead id and then it will return us back to the original lead so we've been working on christian bale for a while let's go to this bertha boxer 
she calls in or we call her and we ask a bunch of questions. So our favorite movie is The Joker. Last time, let's skip over that. We haven't been to the movies, we can't remember. Um, favorite director, I don't know. It's the only person I can think of. And then we like romance. And bada bing, bada boom, we have a new questionnaire created. It has returned us to the lead that we originally started with and all the information there is logged. Thank you all so much for watching. If this video was helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. This video came from a request from the Salesforce community. Don't hesitate to reach out to me and ask for help in understanding Salesforce concepts. Leave a comment down below on what you'd like to see next. And remember, I believe in you.